back with it. When Stan Lee and Steve Ditko created The Amazing Spider-Man in 1962, they had no idea that their creation was going to become the worldwide phenomenon that it did. The original story where Peter Parker was bitten by a radioactive spider gave the small, spindly high school student superhuman strength, agility that defies comprehension, and a sixth sense that acts like a defense mechanism, much like the tiny vibrations felt on a spider's web. These fantastic abilities gave the young and brilliant scientist the idea that if he had the powers of a spider, then he needed to have the webs to go with it. So here are the top 10 things you didn't know about Spider-Man's webbing. Number 10. The tensile strength of Spider-Man's webbing has been estimated to be around 120 pounds per square millimeter. This makes it strong enough to hold the Blob, Iron Man, and even the Incredible Hulk for a short period of time. Number 9. In the three feature films directed by Sam Raimi, Spider-Man's body produces biological webbing from spinnerets in his wrists as a result of the bite from a genetically engineered spider. Unfortunately, because it's biological in nature, it also means that he can lose the ability to spin webs when he's under stress. Number 8. Aside from being able to shoot normal webbing, he also has the ability to shoot variations such as ice webbing, acid webbing, taser webbing, impact webbing, magnetic webbing, lead-lined webbing, flame webbing, sonic disruptors, expanding web foam, micro-coiled Z-metal, and quick-drying web cement. Number 7. One of the few modifications Spider-Man has made to the web shooters is a red LED light that will blink and let him know when he's about to run out of web fluid. He also has to double tap the web shooter to get it to actually shoot to allow for the possibility of an accidental tap. Number 6. Spider-Man's webbing starts out in a liquid form, lasts for about one hour after he shoots it, then turns into a powdered form. Number 5. Although Spider-Woman's underarm webbing helped her to fly, Spidey's underarm webbing was just for looks. It has no abilities whatsoever. Number 4. Spider-Man's web shooters utilize specially created web cartridges that fit into place on his wrists. He carries each cartridge on his utility belt, which can hold over 30 cartridges at a time. Number 3. Although Sam Raimi is usually the one credited with giving Spider-Man his organic webbing that shoots out of his wrist without the need for mechanical devices, it was actually James Cameron who came up with the original idea in the 1990s. Number 2. Although the exact formula that Peter Parker came up with to create his webbing has never been discovered, the ingredients he uses must be relatively inexpensive since he is always going on and on about how poor he is. Number 1. His webbing has been known to create small structures such as parachutes, statues, baseball bats, full-size operational gliders, trampolines, rafts, gloves, nets, watertight domes for underwater breathing, bandages, slings, bulletproof shields, plugs, patches, and even hammocks. So what do you guys think? Do you know of even more facts and trivia about Spider-Man's web shooters? Make sure to leave a comment below and tell us all about them. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for even more videos just like this one.